Well, well, well. Welcome back, everybody, to my show. Um, this is Sharon. Uh, of course, you already knew that about it. I'll tell you that. But uh, my co-host this once and all famous do it all Jamal. Whatever. And this is TC, always a hard working man at work. Yeah, somebody got to work hard around here, don't they? <laughs> uh, but first of all, we got our little disclaimer. You, uh, you all see that, right? You can all read that for yourself, right? You don't need us to read it for you. So we give you a few minutes to look over that. Not a few minutes, a few seconds. few seconds. All right, that's enough. They, they looked over Okay, well, you won't believe this, folks. You will not believe this. There's a mayor in Illinois. Another mayor. Another black mayor in Illinois. In South and, Suburb. And they say he's worse than Tiffy. Can you believe that? Somebody worse than Tiffy. TC, you believe there's somebody worse than Tiffy? It's hard to believe it, but I'm looking at it my looking at it for myself. And we got this from Fox 32 Local News. It's always the black person. <laughs> it always is. Mm, mm, mm. Lord. Well, we're gonna roll it for you and let you hear for yourself. Tonight, another south suburban town faces controversy. Just like we've seen in Dalton, it involves the community protesting against their mayor. Our Nate Rogers picks up the story from here in Harvey. There are many issues here in Harvey that residents have brought to our attention. Um, residents marched from a nearby church right here to the municipal center before tonight's meeting. Several police officers were on hand, some residents calling that an intimidation tactic. We're just seeking the transparency, participatory governance. We have several questions about the bills list. And if we know what's going on in adjacent communities, we certainly don't want to model those those types of things. Stop holding the license! Leave the alone! Tension in suburban Harvey continues to grow. Residents taking their fight to... Well, it seems like the mayor in Harvey, Illinois, is holding up business license and permits. Just like Tiffany. Just like Tiffany. And but the kicker is, this mayor in Harvey, he want he want churches to have a business <laughs> license. The church he want the church to have a business license. What you say about that, TJ? This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. All I can say, this is crazy. A church need a business license to, to uh, have a church. Yeah. Well. I'm not for or against it, but I will say the churches are acting like business now, so why not get, no, get a business like No, right, no, no. Like the way the Constitution was set up, churches are supposed to be... The separation of church and state. the Constitution. Whoa! <laughs> uh, we remember that one day the police come violate yours got a constitutional right. Now I'm going to violate the police right. Put them paws on them. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I came from yeah, violence. Okay. Okay. We can't do that. Yeah, go ahead. Do that. Yeah. Uh, I misspoke. It'd be slow singing uh, and flower I, I, bringing. I, I misspoke. We can't talk about that. Slow <laughs> singing and flower bringing. But why? Now, that, that's going too far. At least Tiffy didn't go that far. Go to demand at the church and to have a business license where you can operate. You have to have it posted on your door. Well, Tiffany is going that far because... Remember, the park is a separate government district. Now she wants them to have permits to have mulch on the ground. <laughs> but then she's not asking the church to have a business license. That's, that's coming soon. Wow. What, where are these people coming from? I mean, oh, wow. Well, okay, play some more. The street in a peaceful protest. Where are the Finding me outside Harvey's Municipal Center, residents holding signs. One of them saying, quote, Mayor Clark is worse than Tiffany Hanger. Another one, quote, stop harassing vendors. Business owners saying their licenses are being held up. Residents complaining of a 3% water hike. Pastors outraged after Harvey churches are now required to obtain a business license or their doors threaten to be closed. Mm. At least two city council members and a packed room of concerned residents are calling for transparency on how village dollars are being spent. The mayor's okay, oh. 
<laughs> oh, black liquor. Black liquor. And this administration be investigated. Oh, What's his name? Is uh, Chris Mack. Who? Let's go back and see. Harvey churches are now required to obtain a business license or their doors threaten to be closed. At least two city council members and a packed room of concerned residents are calling for transparency on how village dollars are being spent. The mayor's. Look at his head. Look at all black licorice, black juju bean. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, get out, folks. Uh, what is his name? Chris what? Christopher J. Clark. Christopher Clark. Wow. <laughs> How can he be worse than Tiffy? Is he the Clark off of Fair East Side? <laughs> maybe, maybe Tiffy getting getting her cue from him. I mean, it's another village, a little small village. It is. Look like it's full of black people. <laughs> like always. Right. He always got to say like always, but that's what it look like. <laughs> now we're not saying no other races. No other race or next cities can't commit crimes, but guess who they watching more? The Negros. Well, look what they doing. Mm -hmm. They yeah. wide open. Wide open with their corruption. You gotta be smooth with your with your your wrongdoings. Yes. You you mm. gotta do little at a time, and they just come out full mm. blast. Take your license, harass mm. you, the close, threaten to close you down, and take your money and spend it any way they want to, and don't tell you how to spend it. That only happens in the black community. That's well, true. In other communities, but more, well, it's showing more, more showcase in the black. It's showing case more in the black community. Yeah. Mm mm mm. The black and Hispanic. Yep, just like that. Um, the uh, mayor in California. Yep. The cartel mayor. Yeah, the cartel mayor. <laughs> Asking that his administration be investigated along with his business dealings. It's unacceptable to have been elected to serve. You should serve with integrity, not pushing the agenda of the mayor, not pushing the agenda of what he has asked you to do in his office, but I'm expecting people to do what they have been elected to do. And when you get aside from that, they need to be removed. But why are you intimidating somebody with their business? How can this happen? We got more policemen here than I've ever seen in a year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's paying for all of this? Who's paying for all of this stuff we got going? When it comes to the money, we just Don't he have some headphones on? Yeah. Now, city council members tell us more than 70 businesses. Mm. More than 70 business licenses on hold. Wow. <sighs> well, if you don't have license, you can't operate, can you? No. Nope. You, you, you can't pay the county taxes. taxes you don't have the, a business. And the taxes and the county can't get the taxes. Well, you, you still got a business. They can still tax you. Well, if you ain't got a license, well, you then can't, you're not you operating. Have, you can't operate if you don't have a license. Well, that's true, too. Mm. I mean, why is it that this man saying there's more cops in the meeting than he's seen <laughs> all, all year, year long? Where'd the cops be? And over Probably. 100 churches uh, are in. And well, over 100 churches mm. <laughs> trying to get their license. That's a shame, man. Yeah. Mm -mm. Now, that, that's that's going too far. Yeah. You've gone too far. Yeah. This don't make no sense. Why, why us black people can't get it together? I'm not gonna say that's cause he don't represent me. He does not. Well, represent one makes us all look bad. No, yeah, you right. It does. Well, in a nutshell, we're not used to power. We're not used to authority. Is that right? And we get a little taste of power, and it goes straight to our head. It make us feel like we the master, Is that and everybody right? else got to do what we say. You're so boss. Anything you say, yeah. boss. Yeah, we, we we feel we feel like we in charge. Since we ain't got to pick the cotton no more now, we in charge. Yeah, we, we don't have to pick cotton no more. So now it's it, we we in charge, and we can tell these other people below us what to do, like Masa used to do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? Uh, that's, that's, that's what it looked like. That's what that way. That's where he got the blueprint from. No, uh -huh. he got the blueprint from the same place that. They, that's that's how that's what it is. Well, then after after they had to free the slave, they have they had that sharecropper. 
you, he let you, Masa let you stay on the land, but you had to grow all of your, your goods. Then you got to pay him half of what you earned. <laughs> so you were still a slave, but you wasn't a slave. So, and, and, and that's it. See, Masa was robbing them, and here, no. uh, here's Master Chris <laughs> robbing his community. <laughs> right, Master Chris. Master Chris. <laughs> and the police is, is his whip. Master Chris looked like he'd been in the yard all burnt and crispy. <laughs> See, but, uh, old Chris don't have to eat chitlins no more. He can eat the steak, and he don't care what everybody else eat. He don't, eat, he don't have to eat the gristle off the steak no, no he more? Don't eat, he don't have to eat the gristle no more. <laughs> Don't have to suck on the bone. Make sure you get all the meat off of it. <laughs> he get to go to Road Chris, Outback, Red Lobster. Mm -hmm. He's eating Kobe steak. <laughs> he eating Angus beef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and he don't care what he don't care. About, he don't care about he raised the water bill. Right, three percent. I mean, goodness. They, he don't care whether he has a wand or not. He don't care whether he take a bath. He don't care. He long, as long as his head shine, he, he can put a, put a little of uh, that raw crown grease on his head <laughs> and, and make it shine when he go out in the sun. He don't care. He look like he dipped the chicken in grease and rubbed it on his head. Well, you know, uh, uh, most, uh, do they still make raw crown grease? I don't think they made. Oh, no, no. Uh, it, it, some of the older people know about raw crown. It comes in a little mm. blue container. You put it on your hair, and then when they have straightening combs, you get that comb smoking hot. Then you run it through that little nappy hair, and it's straightened out, slicking down. He look, he look like he got bacon grease on his head. That's raw crown grease. That's raw crown grease. That's what that is. Man, yeah. people know about Royal Crown. I ain't the only one. <laughs> or it looked like he cooked his his biscuits and lard and all the grease dropped off. Wow. <laughs> he, 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 he eat sugar with hot grease poured over yeah, it. Yeah, that's what he, that's what he put on his head and make it sound like this. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that that's that's a shame when we, we do that. I mean, we have a opportunity to show the world that we can do what, you know, we can do what they swear we can't do. Yeah, then it look like it's proven them right. We can't do it. But when you throw us in a, in a, in a position, and what do we do? Every, everything you touch turned to crap. We elf it all up. It turned to crap. You can't, I mean, really? You don't have to be a genius and know you can't just spend money and, and, and do it. Well... And wait, and has 70 businesses waiting for a license, over 100 church, <laughs> got to get a business license. Mm. And see, you know, when, when, when you start playing with God's stuff, you, you're going too far. Yeah, you are. <laughs> is, that, is that Tiffany's health brother? Call her about to spend the block on all of them. Yeah, I mean, you go, you go close the churches? You gonna close the church? Oh, 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 you better look over your shoulder, cause you no, know, it might just come for you. A big wheel come rolling down the street any day and run over you. That's true. And we gonna pause it. I got, I got another one for you. We gonna do this all in together. Oh, well, now we just got finished hearing about Christopher Clark in Harvey, Chicago, Illinois. Now here we are in Chicago. With Brandon Johnson, <laughs> another black incompetent, good for nothing, low down, dirty, sneaky, is hood it, booger. Is it, no don't want to name Johnson Jackson, L. <laughs> where the crooked Holmes. Holmes. Now we 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 did a I did a video a day about Tiffy spending taxpayers' money getting makeup, spending fifteen hundred dollars every other week to get makeup. Now here's Brandon Johnson. He's a yeah. uh, he's a man. Well, Tiffany he ain't look like a dead monkey. You guys do a lot of work to make that look good. Huh. <laughs> well, here we are with Brandon Johnson with his with his that funny looking haircut, and uh, he now he's spending money on makeup. Now what a man is spending thirty thousand on makeup and hair. Thirty thousand for makeup and yeah. haircut. I mean, isn't that a tomahawk uh, haircut he got? Something like that. Yeah, it looks something like that. 
Let's play. Let's get into the video. Pay for hair and makeup expenses for himself and other people tied to his campaign. Mm -hmm. The Chicago Sun Times first reported that Johnson has spent more than thirty thousand dollars in fifteen months. Wow. <laughs> lawyers disagree if it's lawful. NBC Five political reporter Marianne Ahern mm. joining us now with reaction. Marianne, Allison. Uh, about before we finish. We got this from NBC Chicago. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think of the city boy mayors and city. Now, now, now when yeah. you got a man that need makeup, I think oh oh oh, Brandy on the down low. He's a little zesty. Get on the down low. <laughs> Nobody got the nut. Oh. That boyfriend talking about that's my man. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'll play, play some more. Law does not mention specifically hair and makeup. So depending on whom you ask, there is disagreement whether it's legal. He's not the first to use campaign funds this way, but in Johnson's case, he's using those dollars not just for himself, but others too. Mm. Last August, when we spoke to Mayor Brandon Johnson in a one-on-one -on -one interview, his makeup artist prepped him before we asked questions. <laughs> Lord. Johnson is paying his makeup artist through his campaign donors. Likewise, this hair salon in Austin is also paid with campaign funds. Mm. It's just three doors from his former county commission office. Johnson has expensed more than $32,000 from January of 2023 through the end of March of this year. Mm. Campaign records show the makeup artist was paid $28,000. What? The hair salon, $4,000. I would be hard-pressed to say grooming. That's the lawyer again, Bert Olsen. <laughs> uh, functions. That's not a function of government to look good. Bert Olson is an attorney who specializes in election law. So does Michael Dorf. The key is the law does not prohibit uh, expenditures for grooming expenses. And it is absolutely clear that how you look is at least as important as what you say in any political situation. The Illinois State Board of Elections says, quote, if you're making an appearance as mayor of Chicago and you hire a makeup and hair artist for the event, that would most likely be a legitimate use. Mm. But if you're using them for a strictly social event, there might be a stronger grounds for a complaint. You also can't pay more than fair market value for goods and services. During former Mayor Lightfoot's mm -hmm. term, she expensed $8,000 total for hair and makeup. You can tell too. You can tell too. You, you, you can tell she doesn't spend no money on no makeup and no hair. <laughs> the black middle juice. Dang. Dang. But the black middle juice. <laughs> Who wants a sissy wissy man? Who wants a sissy wissy? Who wants a sissy? I mean, Brandon Johnson should be looking like that. <laughs> yeah, he really should. And she, she's got to at least put a wig and weave on. We even said no. She's comfortable with her she, look. She, she just keeping it real. She's all natural. All natural butch. Yeah, it don't matter. What <laughs> well, at least she's more of a man than Brandon <laughs> yeah, Johnson is. That's true. He's he on the flaming side. Mm hmm. <laughs> so he's a, a sissy wissy. I ain't to do good for my mans. <laughs> For my man's in them. For my man's in them. We like the party. Hey, hey. I got some change in my front pocket. You want to reach in there and get it? <laughs> We're coming back door benders. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll play some more. If I was to pick a side here, I'd pick a side of being on the conservative side, following the letter of the law and not trying to stretch the law. The campaign money was used not just for Johnson's makeup. In a statement to the Sun-Times, his campaign spokesman says the expenses were for the mayor and individuals associated with the campaign for public appearances, All flaming events, hot boys. media segments, and other availabilities. It's a political problem for him. It's a public relations problem. Look I don't that. think it's a violation. He still don't look good. Right? We reached out to the mayor's office who told us contact his campaign office. Well, now, you you would think he'll at least get his beard dyed if you go spend all that type of money. I mean, he said <laughs> on hair and that's hair on your face. <laughs> well, you no, know, I, I guess you figure, you know, he didn't want to attract the boys. He ain't uh, trying to keep them. Oh, uh, okay. he, he, well, he want a power bottom. <laughs> yeah, no, you, 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 you attract the the uh, the flowers 
uh, attract the honeybees. They come get the honey, mm-hmm. then they gone. So, uh, and that's all, all he wanted mm-hmm. to do is attract the boys so he can get the honey and move mm-hmm. on. So, uh, I know he, he does have a wife at home. So, I bet she, I bet she more of a man than he is. She probably is manly looking. Yeah, everybody like, come on, baby, help me put my makeup on. She probably said, go wash the dishes, take the trash out. <laughs> okay. It'd be like that, you know, that, that pastor that put his, his wife put the makeup on him. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. She, she probably put his makeup on before he leave. Yeah. Come on in here, yo, you, you wussy. Let me put your makeup on before you go. She probably, probably shave his legs and everything. <laughs> that's how, yeah, that's how he don't get his legs shaved. You can't, you can't, you sure can't. I play some more. It's almost over. I, I, this spokesman uh, did not return our calls. Oh, uh, it's just about over. Go ahead. I just, I just, I, I, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say what it is because the person probably know what I'm talking about. Mm. But they, they walked in on their husband. He had his butt up in there shaving his butthole. Who was that? You don't know him. I don't know. So, I mean, what man gonna go to that length? You got, I know you're on the download if you shave your, your 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 butt cheeks in between your butt cheeks. What you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah. He, he gotta keep the highway smooth. The only way is except for you to do that if, if you're a professional swimmer. I don't uh, think then, then you gonna have a swimsuit on. Or a model. You know, uh, model other yeah. than that, or uh, muscle builder, they they yeah. shave their butts too. Yeah, that's the only time it's acceptable. I tell you, uh, people just. $28,000 was a makeup? And a haircut. Don't forget the haircut. And all the other people that he gave me, yeah. he provided services for. Yeah, all them, the, all them the flaming politicians. Wow. And, and then the people, all this corruption and stuff going on in in the city of Chicago, and you sitting up getting makeup on, your hair done, and you got, you got people out here homeless on the street. Got immigrants. Bring, bring home a thousand dollars a month. If, what food stamps or cash? Or they give him a, a card with a thousand dollars on it. But you are here trying to put makeup on it instead of letting the city's money go. I mean, look at look at the homeless people that was here on the streets before the migrants came. They didn't do crap for them. They sure did. Then the, here come Venezuela and China and Africa mm-hmm. and and uh, uh, Nicaragua and. All these other places, and you giving them a thousand dollar debit card. Where's my thousand dollar debit card? <laughs> You're not homeless. You're not in Chicago. I think I go to Chicago and and, and I, New York. You're not in New York. I need to learn to speak Spanish and go to Chicago, darling. I did quote the border. <laughs> What me card? What what me card? They said they said I get card. That won't work for you. Uh, no 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 oblos. Uh, I don't English. look I don't look Spanish. Nah, that ain't gonna work for us. We're born here. I mean, if I change my accent, it don't matter if you change it once that social security number come up. <laughs> I change my name. What's your name? A uh, Miwaka Hasakada. You got that social security number? No, I don't. Yes, you do. How? You were born. If I go and say Come I'm from Venezuela, they can always find yeah, out something. something. No, they ain't find out nothing. Put people. your fingerprints down. Yeah, they, then they got you. Then they got you. No, I do to put hot wax on your on your fingertip, mm-hmm. and they can't. There ain't no fingerprint. Okay. okay, you live in the land. <laughs> I know that was on ID. That was. It's now. It's not gonna work. Why I want it? Cause everybody know what people are doing now. No, on, on ID they tell you burn, you put hot wax well, on your right. fingertip and burn your fingerprint. They look, they looking for that well, already. Well, one thing you just said was your name on here. So <laughs> yeah, so they know, they, who they, they know who you are. Who watch my videos? Yeah, you think they got government people sitting around watching YouTube? Ain't and nobody social media. Ain't nobody watching <laughs> my said. little rinky dinky yeah, show. You, you, keep, you get caught making that scam and that fraud. And then this tape will go pull back up. This Ricky Deacon fraud that you talking about, I won't watch it. Well, well, Tiffy get away with it. For now. For now. Chris getting away yeah, with it. For now. Brandon and Johnson for getting away with it. For now. It ain't going to get away with it for long. Well, I think we said all we had to say. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think of City Boy 
Brendan Johnson. Let's stop this, people. Let's stop this. Tiffany, Chris, Brandon. Let's stop this. You're making us all look bad. I mean, they think we're bad anyway. They think we're violent, corrupt, lying, cheating, stealing, drug-taking, baby-making, uneducated, good-for-nothing trash. And you making the... You're proving them right. You're proving them right. Are they not? They are. Yeah. Well, we said all we had to say. Until next time, people. This went on a little too long. Well, uh, <laughs> did we ask for a thumbs up? Did we ask? Yes, I asked for all that. Do, do I ask for yeah, it? You give me instructions. Yeah. You tell them how to get down there to they, the thumbs they up? They know how to get down there. Yeah. All right. That's, well, that's, well, let's leave a comment now. Tell us what you think. Tell us what. You know, are we wrong? Are we wrong? Look, uh, Jamal over there doing a little twirl. They're trying to speed no, me up. No, ain't no twirl. Let's uh, wrap it up. Why are you twirling your fingers? No, I'm not, I'm not no flaming, zesty boy. Well, anyway, until we meet again, do right, do better. Uh, we out.